Hi, I'm Neil Jamison and I'm the research leader for wind engineering here at WSP in Matoni and I look after the WSP wind tunnel, which you can see in front of you. This is what we call a boundary layer wind tunnel. So we're looking at what the wind does to building structures in the sort of lowest one to 200 meters above ground. And as you probably guessed, looking at the model sitting here on the tube table, we do a lot of testing of scale models of buildings and structures. And the sorts of testing that we do here, we do what we call environmental testing. So new buildings can have a significant effect on wind conditions for pedestrians walking around them. So we are trying to make sure that those buildings don't do that. And so we will test the building and we will redesign it if needed and we can make substantial changes to buildings if that is required to make them safe and to make them wind conditions pleasant around them. The other sorts of things we do with buildings is buildings when the wind blows on them that creates a force on the building so the engineers need to know how strong they need to make that building so it doesn't blow over or it doesn't sway too much in the wind. So we can put a model, scale model of a building onto a piece of uh, instrumentation that will measure the forces on the building and we can relate that to what the engineers need to know for their columns and structure but also how much it's going to sway in the wind so in other words whether it's going to make people on the top floors of the building motion sick and we don't want that. The other thing that we can also do is we look at the wind loads on the individual elements of the building's cladding, so the glass and other panelling that you see on the building. Engineers again need to know how thick to make that glass and they need to know how strong the fastenings need to be to make sure it doesn't fall off. Uh, there are instances in New Zealand recently where some cladding on buildings has fallen off into Queen Street or I think it was, uh, which is something you don't want to have happen, particularly if you're walking underneath. The other sorts of things we do in here is we will basically test anything in relation to wind and air flows. So we will test for wind noise, for example, when people are putting sculptural screens or sunscreens or sunshades onto buildings now, there is an issue sometimes with these things whistling in the wind. And again, that's something that you don't want to have happen when you're sitting in the building. We have also tested things like umbrellas to make to look at how at what speeds they basically fail. We've looked at airflow around cricket balls, we've looked at aircraft wings. As I said, basically anything in relation to wind and airflow, we will either test here in the wind tunnel or when it's needed we will go out, take our instrumentation out and measure in full scale. So sometimes we've measured out in the out in some of the strongest storms you might get in a city street to see whether the whether what we measure here in the wind tunnel relates to what you actually get in real life. 